Yo, what's going on everybody? Nelson from Hoop Line. Today I bring you another sneaker review and it is the Under Armour SC30. Curry has been playing well in this year's playoffs and he's been doing it in these babies. The SC30 is like Curry's second line of shoe, kind of like the soldier line from LeBron's signature line. Or even like the elite series that the Nike athlete wears for the playoffs. There are some similarities between the SC30s compared to the Curry 3s, but a uh, shout out to Under Armour for sending me these. Let's get straight into the review. For the traction, the outsole consists of a multi-directional herringbone traction pattern with a pivot point at the ball of the foot and also features signature details of the Golden Gate Bridge. It also says TCC on the ball which stands for Trust, Commitment and Care. The outsole on these are the same exact as the Curry 3's. It's pretty good but although you need some runs to break it in but after that it's pretty solid. Uh, clean cords are good to go. Dusty and mildly dusty, you're gonna have to wipe here and there. Surprisingly, these are pretty solid outdoors, just not where there's a lot of dust or dirt. For materials, they have a reinforced mesh upper for incredibly light, breathable support. It also has an open hole mesh tongue construction for enhanced ventilation. The SC30 compared to the Curry 3 has downgraded from anaphobe and thread worn to mesh. Padding inside of the shoe has been decreased, giving you a more or less cushion-like feel. The material doesn't feel too bad, it's lightweight, flexible, and a bit more breathable. For support and lockdown, SC30 has an adjustable heel stability system that keeps the foot locked in place. They have metal wing TPU shanks that provide a locked in stability through the heel, arch, and forefoot. The support is a little better on these because it has a separate heel counter that tugs into your foot when you tie the shoelaces, giving you a really snug and tight fit. Really good for ankle brace wearers just like Steph Curry. In terms of lockdown, the lacing system along with the metal wings really contain your foot really well where your feet won't be moving around plus there's no heel slippage. For cushioning, it has a dual density midsole that combines micro G foam with charged cushioning under the heel. The cushioning setup on the SC30 is a little different compared to the Curry 3's. Rather than having a full length charged midsole, it has a combination of micro G and charge. The cushioning on these are a little bit more stiff and a little less cushioning compared to the Curry 3's. Although these are a little bit more responsive, but I didn't like the overall feeling and comfort of this cushioning setup. It doesn't provide enough of that bounce for me that I like. Still shout out to the Curry 2's, that's still my favorite cushioning setup. As far as comfort and size fit, the SC30 run true to size. As for comfort, it's not as good as the Curry 3's. You get less cushioning and you have less padding around the shoe, but you do get more of a supportive feel. The shoes are pretty stiff in the beginning. They do need a little bit of break in time, but after that, they're pretty solid. As for pricing, the SC30 retails for $120, $20 less than the Curry 3's. You pretty much get what you pay for. It's a solid price at 120 bucks. Not bad if you could get it for a discounted price. And for my overall rating of the Under Armour SC30, I'm going to give these an 8 out of 10. The only good thing about the shoe is that it is a little bit more supportive with the ankle straps and the heel. Besides that, the traction is the same and I didn't really like the cushioning setup having them to mix Micro G and Charge cushioning together. I didn't think the cushioning was as good as the Curry 3's while also having to take out less padding inside of the shoe. The Curry 3 is a premium shoe and overall more comfy compared to the SC30's but don't get me wrong, it's not a terrible shoe, it's a solid shoe especially for a $20 decrease retailing at $120. In conclusion, I've got to say the SC30 is a solid second line shoe for Steph Curry and Under Armour plus he's been getting buckets in these in the playoffs so something's working for him. Thank you guys for watching that secret review on the Under Armour SC30. Once again, thank you to Under Armour for sending me these kicks. Always taking care of your boy. The links to the shoe will be in the description box down below, so make sure to check that out. Watch these two videos over here. Don't forget to subscribe up there if you're new. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.